Hello friends, welcome to Good Tech Lead Code Tutorial. Here, the coding problem means stack. This is a data structure design coding problem. So design a stack that supports push, pop, top, and retrieving the minimum element in constant time. So the main stack supports following operations. Push x, push animal x onto stack. Pop function, remove the animal on top of a stack. And top, get the top element and get min, retrieve the minimum element in the stack. So first of three operations are supported by the basic stack data structure. The top will just a peak, uh, just a return the value of the top element in the stack. And the get min function is a new operation we need to be use this min stack to support. So here is an example. So when we initialize a min stack object, so we push minus two, three, zero, minus three, three elements, three integer elements into this min stack. And we call get min function, we return minus three, because minus three is a minimum of these three integer numbers. And we min stack pop to remove the minus three from the top. And our min stack dot top would be zero, because zero is the current top element on the stack. And the min stack dot get min would be minus two because we only have a two elements left, and the minus two is a minimum element. So the coding problem predefines this uh, four operations, and we need to implement these four um, functions. So here I'm going to draw some pictures to help you understand how to design and implement this uh, min stack data structure. So Remember that a stack data structure would be like this. So it is a first in, last out element. So when we, when we push an element first, and we then push elements later, and the first element would come out at last if we want to remove all elements out of this uh, stack. So stack like this, like a bucket. So you throw some books inside and then one by one, and then the first one is uh, uh, when you try to move out, it will add a last. So this is stack data structure, like a bucket. And our main stack data structure will support push, pop, and uh, the top also get main. Operations, these four operations. First three, as we mentioned, is supported by basic stack, uh, basic stack uh, data structure. So we need to support this one also in constant time. So for our problem, we can introduce another stack to combine together to, to generate this uh, mean stack data structure. So let's call the first one stack one and stack two. So you may wonder why we need to have a two stack to support. So here I will explain the reason. So the stack two we will use to keep track of the minimum value in stack one. So so the stack two is used as a supported stack to use it to track the minimum value in the stack one. So if we use an example in the coding problem, minus two, zero, and minus three, these three elements we try to push to the main stack data structure. What would happen if we have this two stack? So when we do the push, so we push to the stack one, and we also need to push to the stack two. Remember, this one is to keep track of the minimum value of the stack one. So currently, stack one minus two is the minimum value, right? And later, we push the zero to this mean stack. So stack one, we add another value, and we need to check here. So compare the zero with the current uh, top value of a stack two. 
So minus two is still less than zero. So minus two would be the mean value in the stack one. So what we can put, we put the same amount of uh, values into both stack one and stack two. And the minus two would be the minimum value at the, this point. And then we push the minus three, minus three, and we compare with uh, minus two. So minus three is less than minus two. So minus three is a minimum value of the stack one. So it's even less than the minus two. So, so when we call the get mean at this point, what we can get, we will get minus three. So if we remove the minus three, and we also, that's a pop, pop. So when do we, we do the pop operation, we remove both stack one and stack two, and uh, we check the minimum value, that's minus two, if we only have a zero and a minus two. So you see the stack one and stack two synchronize with each other. So that's why we can use this two stacks to support the get mean functions. So let's go back to the coding. So I will demonstrate in Java. So stack, as we mentioned, we can have a two stack combined together to build this mean stack data structure. So they are both a stack of integers, stack one and And in the constructor, we need to initialize both stacks. And when we do the push, what would happen? So stack one, we push x. And the stack two, we use as a supported supporting stack, we can check. First, we, we can have a check. If the stack two is empty, we should um, just push this value to the stack two. So if stack two is not empty, what should we do? We push the what value? We push the the smaller value of the current stack two, current top value of a stack two, and the, all this x. So we compare the x value with the current minimum value, the peak, the top value of a stack two with x. So we compare them together. So if x is less than the stack two, the peak value, and we push x. If the stack to the peak value is still the minimum value, we push the stack to the peak. And the pop operation. So pop just a stack one pop, and the stack two also pop. So they are synchronized. And the top top just return the integer value of the of the stack one because we just need to pick here and the get mean get mean is also easy because we have this supporting su stack two so stack two the top of a stack two is just a minimum of the stack one so that's uh, we can just return stack two dot pick so that's all. So when we implement this mean stack function data structure. So okay, let's click submit. Accepting. That's cool. So we successfully implement this mean stack. And you see when we push we push the both the stack one and the stack two. 
And when we pop, we pop both stack one and stack two. And we top is just a stack one dot peak. And get mean is just a peak of the stack two. That's a constant time. So that's all about this mean stack coding problem. I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial video. And uh, that's all. Thank you for your watching. And thank you for your subscription. This is a good taker. See you next time.